Hello and welcome back to Productive Dragon's channel. My name is April and today I have me some ink journal or ink flight. Want to see what's in my box? Come join me. Ink journal aka ink flink, this is ink flight, is a fountain pen subscription that is $30 a month. You get seven sample inks and then some type of fountain pen accessory. It could be notebooks, it could be a fountain pen. We've gotten that. We've gotten a color ink swatches, things like that. We can, you know, it's a variety of stuff. So you never know what you're gonna get in. Uh, it is $30 plus shipping and handling, but I do have a code down below that if you use it, you get free shipping in the United States. So let's see what Thomas and the crew has come up with this month. I do love the subscription um, because of the fact, oh, they taped the sides this time too, uh, because of the fact you get to learn about the inks that they give you, which is rather interesting when if you're a geek like me. Okay, we got all this. So, hmm, this is interesting. All right, so this is the September 2021, and we have, ah, we have envelopes. That's the first. I don't think I've ever gotten envelopes from them, but hey, okay. Peter Popper's Pop Press Envelope Address Guide and Clarefontaine Promo Faith White Envelopes. And this is the guide. Okay. Alrighty. Interesting. All right. Upgrade your snail mail by nearly addressing, neatly addressing cards invitations and letterings using the four pack stencil guide from peter parker press the durable clear plastic stencils cover five common envelope sizes using the stencil ruling you will line and center the dress tracing the line lightly in a pencil write the address in pen with a fancy calligraphy if you please and erase the pencil lines when you're finished Write to a pen pal using these included Clarifontaine peel and seal envelopes. Made in France with white 90 GSM paper, these envelopes are ready for you to pen letters. The DL size envelope can be accommodated for a A4 size sheet of paper folded into thirds. The envelope is a PEFC certified, indicating that the paper comes from certified sustainable manageable forest. Hmm. All right, so we have, okay, instead of me opening it up, here are the stencils. Let me go ahead and open it up. Oops. That's quite an interesting, okay, this is an A1 response or note card envelope. Let's see here. Let me get my, so you can see, there's that. Then we have an A7 invitation and card envelope plus calligraphy. A sender, letter body, A sender. That's nice. They even give you information right here for this one. Okay. Little numbers here, inches, inches. Okay. Next, we have an A7 invite and card envelope okay you got your part there and then this part and then we have one that is a business envelope hmm, that's pretty cool yeah all right quite an interesting amount it also says it aligns with an a2 or a4 envelopes with guided lines to center the address which they say right here you've got your a4 and a2 not bad, not bad. That's quite interesting. Uh, a little bit of directions. I show you what it should look like. Fancy letters, blo uh, block letters, and pencil lettering. Okay. All right. So that's interesting. Um, I would have never thought of this, but hey, that's always something interesting. You never know what could be improved. Okay, we do have a sticker. Write without fear, edit without mercy. 
For this month's sticker, I saw the quote, write without fear, edit without mercy, on an internet meme and decided to include it as a motivational reminder for all of us. I use customized radical cut pilot parallel pen with two different color inks to get the gradient effect and the rough lettering style. They even got a prompt here if you'd like, and it, it says, prompt, write a letter to yourself that you will open five years from now. Hmm, interesting. I'm probably going to butcher the name of this company. And it's a different company for our inks. And I'm going to go ahead and put my little thing out here. So, and like I said, you get seven inks. And this one is, well, okay, I'm going to say it's Tasashi. I could be wrong on the pronunciation. Designed by Tasashi in. California by manufacturing by oh heck no I'm not pronouncing this I'm going to butcher it in Japan the second edition Yooki Inc E Inc collecting honors for the contributions of traditional 17th century Japanese artists Oroshi and Uromo I am probably mispronouncing these people's names this painting usually features flowers birds and natural landscapes such as subject matter uh yumoto yumoro is best known for his masterful portrait of beautiful women hmm, okay all right so i am not going to pronounce these i will probably look them right here because i will butcher every name but what i will do is i will do the best i know how because these are some names i wouldn't even attempt to try as I've been doing, I'm going to go ahead and just watch them, show you the inks. And like I said, I will put the name right here because there's no way I'm pronouncing these. This is a smoky, complex beige brown that has a warm undertone. This is a bright red ink that has gold sheen highlights. This one is a deep blue black color that has a rich state slate tone. Next, we have a soft and peaceful this light blue ink shades well. Hmm. This is a bold indigo blue ink exhibits some reddish sheen. This is a dusky plum purple ink is moderately saturated. And last but not least, this teal gray ink has a shine, slight green undertone and a black sheen. Here are all the colors again. They're all lovely. We have, like I said, the sticker, some stencils for your envelopes, and envelopes. All in all, what did I think? I really love the colors. They are beautiful. Um, I've never heard of this company, so this is really nice. So I can't wait to try them out. Um, other than that, what did you all think? Did you like what I got? What's your opinion? Like the video. If you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're not, please consider subscribing. I do unboxes, plan with me's, and other things. So if you see my icon right over there, click it, then click the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all. That way, when I upload new content, hopefully YouTube is notifying you. I am hoping everybody is having a wonderful day.